No. Oh, then it must be lunchtime. Ah, knock, knock. Who's there? Isabel. Isabel who? Isabel necessary. Well, if you're on a ship, it is, Gus. Oh. Uh, it's the way you tell the time. Oh. Whenever you hear a bell ringing, it's telling you what time of the day it is. Ah, that's why I got this bell. <laughs> Every time I'm hungry, I can ring it and it is lunchtime. <laughs> Gus, you do that and you'll be found. Now, oh. just remember, you're not supposed to be on this ship. You're a stowaway. <laughs> I'll get another bell, I will. <laughs> And then I'll stow away a really good lunch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Mr. Squiggle, you look excited. Oh, What's happening? That bell. I thought it was lunchtime, and lunchtime is always exciting. Of course it is. But then, then I realised... That it's squiggle time. Indubitably. Okay. So oh. hurry up. Okay, I'm hurrying. <sighs> All right, Mr. Swiggle, you yes. ready for this one? Oh dear, what do I make of it, Rebecca? Well, it kind of looks like an umbrella already. That's it, an umbrella with two uh, <laughs> two um, uh, donuts uh, uh, sheltering. And a seagull. And a seagull. Oh, well, we finished that one, have we? The, the donuts are sheltering from the seagull. <laughs> The seagull oh, is you're hungry. Gonna, you're going to make it into something else. This squiggle, Mr. Squiggle, comes from Chloe and Kate O'Brie, who live in Northmead in New South Wales. Ah, and well, so, what should I make of it, Rebecca? Well, I know they're watching and waiting eagerly uh -huh. for you to make something great out of it. Well, this is an eager whale. Oh, and what's the eager whale doing? He's waiting eagerly. <laughs> What's he waiting eagerly for, Mr. To play Spiegel? golf. Oh! With the jellyfish. Oh! Over here, you see. The jellyfish. There. So they're playing 18, 18 holes and there's in the, the golf ocean. Ball. That's oh. it. <laughs> that looks great, Mr. Swiggle. They're waiting for the tea. Oh. The golf oh. tea. Oh, I'm always waiting for tea, Mr. Swiggle. <laughs> another one, Rebecca? Oh, I think so. Would you like another one? Oh, hurry up. Shh. Oh, what should I make of this one, Rebecca? Well, there's a long line and a few bits of... That's... I don't know, in other words. <laughs> You're not much help, Rebecca. Sorry. I, I, I'm sure you can do better than that. Now, this squiggle comes from Leah and Nicole Slattery, who live in Huntley in Victoria. How's that? Oh, is this a bird over here upside down? A uh, bird is upside down. <laughs> but what's the bird doing? Uh, it's a very cheeky bird. Yeah. And it's trying to pull one of the cat's whiskers out Ooh. to make a nest. Ouch. That would hurt. <laughs> meowch, says the cat. Oh, meowch. Meowch. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, upside, upside down. down. Everything's upside down these oh, days. I think, you know what, I think he's going to give up soon trying to pull out that whisker. Really? Yes, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know what you can do till you try, Rebecca. Well, that's true, Mrs. Yeah. Wiggle. Do you think you could... Oh, spacewalk time. No, 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 Mrs. Wiggle. No, no, no. Huh? Oh, oh. Whatever you say, Rebecca. <laughs> do you think you could try and do this quickly? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, OK. I'll do it with my eyes shut. Well, it comes from Cheryl and Carolyn Dovey, who live Re in Bunbury in Western Australia. Really? Yeah. Uh, well. Well. How's that? Um, is it a horse? Uh, not quite. Oh, is it a camel? It's a camel. Oh. <laughs> What's he got in his mouth? A yo-yo. Oh. Mm -hmm. Is he playing... Is he, what's he doing with the yo-yo? Playing walk the dog? Or? That's it. Oh, <laughs> what else it? could you do in between oases in the oh, desert? Oh, good point, Mr. Swiggle. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oops. Lunchtime. Lunchtime. Goodbye, oh, Rebecca. Goodbye, Mr. goodbye, Swiggle. goodbye. Mr. Swiggle, I didn't know you had bells on the moon to tell you when it was lunchtime. Rebecca, oh, we don't need bells on the moon to tell us it's lunchtime because on the moon it's always lunchtime. Bye.